We've all been there, haven't we? That agonizing moment where your favorite bit of screwdriver snaps off in the head of a screw. It's so frustrating, especially if it's a quality bit of kit and you've hardly used it. To help us all to get through this difficult time of emotional upheaval, we're going to answer the question, why are my screwdriver tips snapping? Now, we're going to illustrate this issue using Weha screwdrivers, but as we'll see, this is not necessarily a problem with the screwdrivers, but the culprit may well lie elsewhere. So, just a couple of disclaimers to start with. If you're using cheapy screwdrivers made of poor quality metal, or if you're using the wrong driver head with the wrong screw, and who of us haven't tried undoing a posi screw with a terminal flathead driver occasionally, talking to you, then that may well be the reason that the driver tip snaps. But if you're using a good quality, trusted brand like Weha for the purpose that it's intended, you may be surprised if the tip breaks in normal use. So what is the likely cause? Well, it seems to be happening the most with slotted posi screwdrivers, which are the ones that have the posi base shape on the tip with the additional little wings on two opposite sides that give it the sort of flat tip combination. This is an absolutely excellent shape of screwdriver tip because it takes the excellent gripping power that a posi tip provides and then gives it an extra bit of turning power by adding the flat tip wings, which extend the distance from the center of the driver head to the outer edge, thus increasing the torque that you can apply to the driver. This design, however, does leave the tip a little vulnerable as the outer tips of these experience the most stress when tightening screws. Now, this isn't normally a problem at all, but think about where you find this type of screw head the most. It's usually in consumer units and distribution boards, isn't it? In the protective devices and in the neutral and earth bars, we find loads and loads of these screws with the slotted posi head. And it's here that the problem may be arising. When these screws are manufactured, they start off as cylindrical blanks that are cut to length, threaded, and also have the screw head applied by means of a tool that punches a die into the flat end of the screw. This die looks like the tip of a screwdriver, but is made from a really tough material that can take repeated compression into the metal blanks, and it leaves behind a recess in the screw head that will accommodate the shape of the screwdriver tip. Now, this punch will be used over and over and over again, perhaps several times a second, and though it's tough and can take it, over time it will start to wear down a little bit, just a few microns at a time, but eventually it will get to the point where the recess left behind is no longer perfectly formed and it may be a little shallower than it was previously. At this point, the tip of your excellent quality, well-designed and manufactured Weha screwdriver will no longer sit securely and tightly into the recess in the screw head. This then puts additional pressure onto the screwdriver tip, pressure which the tips of the slotted part of the driver were never meant to experience, and the result is that they may then snap off, especially after repeated uses on this type of worn screw. Unfortunately, you can't beat physics. So what's the solution? Well, if you're noticing it's a problem with a particular manufacturer, you could decide to install better quality consumer units and distribution boards that use screws from places with better quality control processes. We'd just like to point out in a legal disclaimer way that we aren't for a moment suggesting that this board is from a brand with a poor quality record. We just needed one to illustrate a point. That's why the branding is covered up with tape. You could just suck it up and use screwdrivers that have replaceable bits so that when one snaps, you can replace it without replacing the entire screwdriver. Or it's been suggested that you could just use a flat bit for slotted posi screws. Now this last one I wouldn't be happy with as a solution, as really you should be matching the driver tip to the correct screw recess, or you may end up damaging the screw to the point it can't be undone for maintenance or replacement, and you also increase the chances of slipping and hurting yourself or causing damage to the equipment. But we're very interested in hearing your thoughts on that option, so please do comment that below. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to know more about top quality screwdrivers from Weha, then please check out this video here, or have a look at our free training package, which you'll find a link for in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.